Hi and welcome to my video review of the ScanSnap S1500 which I purchased on Amazon.com um, to help me scan some books in for my father uh, Warren Murphy at WarrenMurphy.com um, that we're going to reproduce and re-release as digital um, ebooks for the Amazon Kindle. Um, <clears throat> uh, the, the title I'm going to be doing today is Ceiling of Hell uh, which was released going back in the day and it will soon be available again like I say through Amazon Kindle's program um, so keep an eye out for that. A lot of people um, who are trying to convert books into um, uh, old manuscripts that they don't have digital copies for into uh, digital books for the Kindle and for other e-readers uh, it's very time consuming or expensive to to actually sit down and scan them in uh, is very time consuming or paying a service I've seen charges up to a thousand dollars a book uh, just to get them digital um, this has been the perfect solution to me I already have it set up this is the scanner here um, I just I had all the cables put together basically it just connects with the USB port into the PC of course there's software that I have loaded that came with it including Adobe Acrobat uh, rather the Adobe uh, standard version 9 uh, which I think is the newest and greatest, um, but not the pro version. It's a it's the basic version, which is all I need for this, um, and a power cord. I have a clock set up between the two, so you can see that I'm not jerking around with the times at all. What you'll see is actually what you get, and of course this is my laptop over here, um, which will detect that the scanner's turned on um, automatically, and then you'll be able to see what's going on with that. Let me actually turn my my monitor a little bit better. Oops. That should be better because then I can spin like that. Good. All right. So now, in order to turn it on, like I say, once it's already connected, in order to turn it on, all you do is lift the lid, and you'll hear. It didn't make the noise, but uh, the little window popped up on my box saying that it's um, that it recognizes that the scanner is attached and turned on. Uh, this tray comes down, and this is the is the receiver for it and I'm going to load in um, it can take up to 50 pages at a time I'm going to put in uh, 26 numerical pages which ends up being I think 13 actually sheets of paper um, it just sits into into the guide here put that in I have to make sure the edges are nice and square it goes top down and first page in so it's upside down and backwards um, and stand by all right, so like I said, I have it in and, and turned on. The pages are loaded. I'm going to bring this over this way so you can see what I'm doing in order to launch the actual scanner. Um, all there is is an icon down in your system tray. Um, it has an S on it. I click on that. It brings up a menu, right-clicking on, and I'm going to choose duplex scanning, which allows it to do front and back of the pages at the same time. I'm going to press this and then move the camera back pretty quick because the thing starts very fast. And for those of you who have done scanning before, uh, you understand what a time saving is this in. I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is camera is picking up the picking this up. It's just amazing how this goes through. Um, I think we're just about done. And that did 26 pages, front and back, um, full size. It's all text because I don't need anything but text. I'm going to bring the camera over here now because we're done with the scanning portion. And I'm going to actually take it into my monitor a little bit. Um, it scanned it. It's processing the pages. And in a couple of seconds, I'll get a box that'll pop up that'll ask me what I want to do to this. Um, so stand by one second, and we'll see what's going on with that. And there we go. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit without losing focus on this. And this is basically an options screen where it asks you what you want to do with the video, or rather what you want to do with the, um, with the scan document. And you can scan to a snap scan organizer. That's for people who just want to uh, declutter their office and papers. If it was a, a, credit, a, a business card, you could scan. You can scan it into a folder, uh, to an email document, scan it. I can just print it out. I don't understand why people would want to do that. 
Um, I like to scan it to a Word document because it makes my life easier. So I click Scan to Word. It will then launch Microsoft Word, which takes a couple seconds because my PC is not the latest and greatest. It's been around for a couple of years. And now it's in process of, um, this is the Fine Reader software that also came with the program um, for ScanSnap. And it's, uh, it's going through the PDF, which is what it, it actually scans into as a, as a searchable PDF. It's processing that. Then it will open Word and it will um, have it converted so that it's a, a Word document that I can save it as. So this is, um, this takes a few minutes. I'm going to actually uh, let the camera go. Again, I just want you to, I don't want people to think that I'm jerking around with the times. I want people to be able to see, you know, what's, you know, how long this, how long the process takes. And I'm sorry, this is a new camera. I'm learning how to use it. Um, we recently, <clears throat> we recently um, re-released a book called Scorpion's Dance. Um, that was the first time I used the scanner. Again, it's a, a book written, for, written by my father, Warren Murphy, and um, which you can uh, get awarding information at warrenmurphy.com uh, forward slash books. Um, and that's his ebook page. And I was amazed when I first got that. I put the uh, I put the documents into the scanner. I scanned it. I saw how fast it happened. It was amazing. I scanned the entire book in about 37 minutes. And it's 477 um, book pages, which is just amazing. This is just about finished. Um, it's just exporting what it's calling images. It's now exporting it into the Word document. Um, I don't know if you can see the, the clock over here. Not a whole lot of time has elapsed. We're still at 10 or 2. And I'm sorry, the Word document's here. Let me back out a little bit so you can see better. And the beauty of this program, the, the beauty of this, is that it keeps your um, the majority of your typesetting, like my things that are italics, stay italicized. Um, I've I found minimal, uh, minimal errors that need to be corrected and the, the errors that it makes seem to be things that are repeatable so it's very easy when you find it like may scan an H as as I forget what actually what it, maybe is a P or something like that I forget what exactly what the thing is but it's very easy to just scan the document to find that combination of letters that it missed it and then redo but briefly going through this um, I'm not noticing any glaring spelling uh, spelling mistakes and it just goes through one after another. And that's how this scanner works. It's a spectacular piece of equipment. Um, and again, this book is Ceiling of Hell by Warren Murphy, which will soon be available at Amazon.com for the Kindle. Uh, the cover will look vaguely like this, but it's going to look a little different because I'm going to make a new version that will be appropriate for um, the, you know, because I don't, I don't have the copyright for this for this cover, so I'm going to make my own version of it. All right, hope you enjoyed this review. Hope it's helpful. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, and by all means, uh, you can go to www.brianmurphy.com. That's W-B-R-I-A-N-M-U-R-P-H-Y.com and um, forward slash ebook in lowercase, a capital S for scanner, or forward slash little e-b-o-o-k, capital S, C A N N I N G dot HTML. So it's ebook scanning with a capital S um, to see. Well, obviously, you're here to see this video, but to, um, to order one of these scanners are amazing. Have a great day. Bye.